At last, we have the weapon the AX commanders across the bubble have been waiting for. The gimbaled AX multi-cannon is now available, though not at every rescue megaship or at Shinra to Desra. In an odd happenstance, this weapon is not available at some locations that ought to have it, so be sure to use Inara to confirm inventory if you are traveling to get this module. I expect this issue will be resolved in the coming days, but for now, a quick double check is prudent. The gimbaled, enhanced AX multi-cannon sees reduced power draw, increased shot damage, damage per second, and magazine size. It requires more distributor draw, generates more heat, and has a reduced rate of fire compared to the turret. All other stats are unchanged compared to the turret mount. With the fixed mount, reviewed previously, offering a slight improvement to damage over the gimbal. The increase in overall usability is well worth equipping the gimbal over the fixed mount, since Thargoids have not yet manifested any defense against gimbal's signature tracking. As expected, this gimbaled AX multi-cannon pulverizes scouts at range more consistently than the turret. When equipped with medium ships like the crate, using a full set of size 3 weapons, Time to secure a scout kill at medium range is about 5 seconds. Power draw, even with three weapons churning away, is minimal, allowing the weapon to be used in low power situations very effectively. Against interceptors, the gimbaled multi-cannon fails to impart enough exertion damage to pace fights reliably. It can exert a cyclops by itself, but the effort amounts to a mag dumping of three full hardpoints to get one heart out, making this process ammunition inefficient, but possible in a pinch. Against basilisks, or stronger interceptor variants, the multi-cannon is ineffective for exertion damage. Once a heart is exposed, the multi-cannon is extremely effective at damaging Thargoid hearts, though doing this without a research scan is not. Like with the turret mount, the largest single barrier to effective use of this weapon is the ability to subtarget hearts, meaning pilots must be prepared to complete an additional scanning step before they can leverage the full capability of their gimbaled mounts. Once a research scan is complete, the multi-cannon tracks its marks extremely accurately at medium range, destroying individual hearts in seconds once a heart face is exposed and unobstructed. Used alongside a dedicated exertion weapon, like AX missiles, shard cannons, or plasma chargers, the multi-cannon forms a powerful synergy that can greatly accelerate the pace at which a fight is completed. Gimbal mounts allow for greater placement flexibility on ships, so this weapon can work on wingtips and engine pods just as well as it does along the centerline. Like the Aegis platform before it, the enhanced AX multi-cannon is only available for the size 2 and 3 hardpoints. Since damage on the AX multi-cannon scales up with hardpoint size, smaller ships are at a disadvantage when equipping this weapon, with the size 3 variant delivering just shy of double the damage of a size 2. Endurance for this weapon is excellent when used as directed against scouts and Thargoid hearts, with endurance significantly limited when used for exertion damage. The enhanced multi-cannon is definitely not a good choice for single-weapon mono-builds, and needs the help of a dedicated exertion weapon, though any exertion weapon will work. The requirement for a research scan means that large ships will need the support of smaller, faster ones in order to use this weapon effectively. Solo builds leveraging this weapon should mount it on a fast, agile ship to acquire these scans reliably. At little more than half the cost of the same size turret, the gimbal mount is even more accessible. That's all I have for today, so I'll catch you all later.